Well, real quick before we get off the Bills, uh, I heard you guys mention his name a couple times tonight. Ray Ray McLeod, my boy from Clemson, was out there flashing, was doing work after the catch, which is pretty much his forte. He's someone I'd be looking to scoop up, maybe put on my practice squad in a deeper bench. He might still be out there in waiver wires, depending on what type of league you're in. He was. This is a guy who continuously messed up at Clemson. Like If you're a Clemson fan, Ray Ray has had you pulling your hair out for sure. And he just like he's a guy that threw the ball away before crossing the goal line type thing. Yeah. Just and he he we had him out there returning punts and kicks and he would he drop them and fumble and just make some boneheaded plays to the point where you're like I don't want this guy on the field anymore. But he kept getting chances. They kept putting him out there because he's an NFL talent. Yeah, and he's electrifying. And then you see him, you see him get out there and, and flash in the preseason. It's like, man, if this guy can pull it all together, I'm I'm happy for him, and I'm down to, to put him on my team. I think he's, a, you know, they need a playmaker, right. and it could it could be, you know, this I don't is, know. Well, no, we we have a, a shared league, and we took him, we took a flyer on him on a in a you know pretty big dollar amount league where us three are all in it together and we got we got Ray Ray on the bottom of the practice squad one of the last picks of the draft just because right. of that reason yep like he's a he's a very athletic kid a playmaker and he's super cheap and the bills the, the roster's kind of barren of those guys this was before even the Corey Coleman Absolutely. kind of stuff and it doesn't change much for me I'm still okay with it's still a taking, long-term yeah, hold yeah for it's sure a, it's a low investment long-term hold potentially big payoff and I like when Jay Wayne brings us that local behind the curtain thing it reminds you of one of the reasons you didn't see more of him at Clemson because he was a bonehead, but one of the reasons you uh, you uh, you saw anything else from him after some of that bonehead stuff is because of the talent. Keep him off the and field. that's kind of, you know yeah. So I was I'm a big time like if you only got four draft four rounds in your draft, you might not be able to put Ray Ray on your bench because right. it might run it you know. But if you got five six or seven rounds, or you got that practice squad, you just pick him up in the undrafted free agent section right. after the draft. You know, you go up and you trade two or three players off your team. Fill open up those bench spots or those practice spots like we talk about. Improve your roster and then backfill it with those guys like Ray Ray McLeod that you don't even have to pay for, but you need them get them soon because right. before they start flashing. Right. And obviously the Bills off offense might not be out there tearing it up on week one on Sundays, but we made a great play to go down he, low and catch that he, rocket from Josh he Allen. He did. He Ray Ray's an NFL talent. If he can Crushing put it the together, cross there is there's there's plenty plenty of space on this Bills offense for the next generation of players because right. they're not locked into anybody at this point, and and it's wide open. The running back Marcus Murphy looked good throughout this game for the Bills. He was on the Saints last year. I think he's from Missouri. Uh, he he that he looked unstoppable in this game when he got his time to shine, and I every time they gave it to him, it was a plus play. Um, and then on you know when you look around on this starting defense, just to wrap this thing up, I mean, there's really good players in the secondary on this team, and there's a decent linebacking core, and there's a couple of good players sprinkled across this front line, and they've lost some players uh, along the line here on that defensive line, but. This is this this defense is what was your Achilles heel last year of keeping you in games to go along with your shadies and your tie rods. And I think you can have a similar thing going on this year where this game these games don't get out of hand. Shady's still gonna be able to get valuable touches for your fantasy team. So I, just another plus for some of the, obviously you like sometimes when your offense is getting blown out and there's probably some chances that that or your team's getting blown out. There's probably some chances that's gonna happen with the Bills this year. But there's a, a nice core of defensive players on this back into this uh team here and I, I think that bodes well for the running back position at least yeah very like last week i was throwing shade at shady and and you know as long as nothing happens off the field i think it's very encouraging to see what happened in the bills this preseason let's uh let's go ahead and take a quick break and we'll be back with more married to the game 